Mackerel boys, doing a real, real quick video for you. So, Mackerel with R Factor 2 today, really, really cool, man. So, R Factor 2, brilliant for V8 supercars. If you just want to do the V8 supercars, very, very cool. I'm just making this really, really quick. Okay, so you get R Factor 2, okay, you get it from Steam, and you type it in, you get R Factor, blah, 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 okay, and it's only $39.99 just for the base one. So if we go into our library and go home, okay, really easy to mod because all you need is the base game. And then we go R Factor 2, and then we just go Workshop. And then when you go into the Workshop for it, okay, you'll see anything you want to get here. Um, and you can just type it in up there. So say Pukakoi or Barbagello or any Aussie tracks, whatever. So the reason I've gone to it, just for, you know, I just want to do the supercars with it. Is go V uh, is the um, the V8 supercars 2022. So if, if we go into that, you can see there the new skins. Okay, and so all you do is go subscribe, and when you load up R Factor 2, it will load it in there by itself. It is so easy and so good. And if you want to get rid of a mod, then you just go back in here, go into the mod, and then go unsubscribe. So so easy cannot be any easier right so we go out of that this is just real quick training lesson and what it's like um, go into R Factor 2 it's gonna load up and then once that loads up looks really nice so you see there it updated the workshop items so that's what it does if you load a mod it automatically recognizes the mods and, and loads them in so we go click to start. It's kind of got the AMS2 look to it, um, to the to the way it's laid out. And you'd go just go up into the top here for settings when you go to first set it all up, nice and easy. Just go, you know, graphics, sound, so on. You can run it really, really um, well on even three screens um, or VR. Um, so you basically got this is your um, your force feedback and so on, right? So it automatically sets and knows the, the rotation of your wheel. Um, so see mine's 900 that I've got in my control panel for Thrustmaster. So that it automatically recognizes that, right? Now, your force feedback is wheel. This smoothing thing is basically um, the further you go, say up to 10, 20, whatever, um, makes it less um, aggressive on the curbs and all that sort of stuff. If we go down to zero, okay then basically what it means is that um, the curbs are really really strong when you hit the curbs and so on okay so I have it about four seems right for me and then you've got force feedback strength on Thrustmaster wheels and um, in Logitech you keep it down at negative 100 that's the actual strength of the wheel so you're getting the most out of it um, and then you've got minimum steering torque that is basically so when you're at a dead center and going down a straight line um, you'll have a bit of a bit of torque there on either side so it's not sloppy in the middle um, so I have it on four seems to be about right for me now the biggest thing is every car that you hop into you have to check uh, you have to change the force feedback for it it will remember it after you've changed it the first time so whether it's a, when you go into a car and then you select that skin it remembers it for that car and that skin okay so if I went into Gizzy's car it would remember it right but if I go into um, Windcup's car it, it, it would be back at 100 okay so I'd want to change it back and I've found the 60 seems to be the sweet spot for all the cars or uh, all the V8 supercars um, well that's for my wheel anyway but my wheel is the same as your guys will pretty much so it's it's awesome man feedback is really really good so what we do is we go here we're going to go into single player we go single player here and really really quick and easy you can go um, select, select your session settings okay um, you can go I don't even bother select series I just go select the car uh, the track so say I'm going to do Pukakoi because I've loaded all these and all these tracks Okay, so you've got Winton, you've got um, Barbagello, Bathurst, the whole lot. Hidden Valley, see, Hidden Valley, um, Hampton Down. You can get whatever track you want, it's awesome. 
Um, so I've got Pokakoi, and then I'm going to go select car. So if I go select my car, um, I'm going to select, say, if I select um, Gizzy's car. Okay, now hang on. I'll select, I'll select a Mustang because I'm a Ford man anyway, and I'm going to go the trading car, right? So I'm going to go Kostiki. Now we go. You can change the the tires for it. Um, you can change the the diff, um, the brake uh, the brake pedal level, and the force feedback uh, strength. I leave it on standard. That's fine. You know, that's all you need. Um, and then if you go edit settings, you can then choose whether you want another class in there as well. So you could go say I want um, I don't know um, BMW M4s driving with me as well. But we've just got the Ford uh, V8 Fords, uh, V8 supercars, and then this is where you uh, you do all your session settings, right? So I've got my damage monitor on, blah blah blah, fuel, so on, and then you've got your AI. So I've got 19 cars um, uh, I'm going against. I've got my strength at 85 percent, my aggression uh, I've got at 50 percent. Found that wasn't too bad for this, um, and AI limiter. If you set it at 50. Um, if you go t if you go all the way to 100, then they'll be really spread out. Okay, the cars. If you go down at 100, uh, down at zero, then all of the cars will be like they'll be all really really good, and they'll basically be like a train fighting for each position. So I found 50, you know, in the middle was quite good. So we're going to go start racing. Okay, she's going to load up, and it loads up pretty damn quick. And so here we go, here we go, and here we go, and it's not too bad, I've seen things load up way far slower than this, I think it's about the same as all the Mobilissa too, to be honest, um, right, so there we go, I'm off the back, okay, so now I want to go into the settings, when I drive this car, right, for the first time, I want to go into the settings and go into here into calibrate controls, go into my force feedback settings, and I want that to be on 60 for my feedback. If it was 100, it would be freaking heavy as hell. Really heavy. And it really is heavy in this. So 60 seems about right for me. Um, but you guys might like it heavier. You just don't want to overdo your wheel because, you know, you want it to last. So here we go going to drive and we're away and look at how good that looks it looks really good not a bad version of Pookie as well Typical supercars fashion, there's a crap out on this corner. I love it that the AI aren't just like in a train and just, you know, no accidents or anything because they really do have doozies, it's good.
But man, they get back on the track really quick, which is good. So there we go. There's a good look at it. And I'll back out. And just show you a little bit of the... Um, show you the replay. How good it looks. So look at that. Does that look sweet or what? Looks bloody gold, mate. Looks gold. They sound pretty good too. I'm quite happy with it. Anyway, get it boys, it's good.